Hi, I'm Stuart and welcome to Sonet Television. We're going to get a chance right now to go across to the Northwest Fire and Rescue Exposition, which is taking place here in the great city of Portland, Oregon. And Chris, our intrepid outside reporter, along with Wade, our cameraman, is taking a look at some apparatus that are available for sale and for show at the show, along with Derek, our photographer. So let's go from the studio across to Chris right now. Well, thank you, Stuart, and thank you for joining us here on a very special episode of SirenNet Television. We are at the 2016 Northwest Fire and Rescue Expo, held here in the beautiful city of Portland, Oregon. All kinds of wonderful products are on display. Lights, sirens, equipment, and apparatus, of course. So go ahead, join me now on a tour around this wonderful show. One of my favorite parts about the show is taking a look at vehicles firsthand. Here at SirenNet, we get to do the lights, the sirens, but when it comes to the finished end of the truck, getting it fully equipped and functional for the day-to-day -day activities, here is a perfect example that's come up from California. It's an F550 platform, completely configured with a great siren and lighting system. But the most important thing that I want you to take a look at is all of the equipment that's added to it and how organized and well done it is. When it comes to a configuration for the front end of an apparatus, my favorite has become the Rosenbauer Commander here. Up top, we have the Whelan Ultra Freedom Light Bar, front brow lights from FRC, moving down from Whelan Engineering, M6 light heads above the headlight buckets, M6s down below with a 600 series LED arrow, a nice effective wigwag with the headlights, a federal signal Q siren and air horns, as well as a 200 watt speaker over to the officer's side. Also, bit of trivia for you and question, who amongst you can tell us what this guy here in the center is properly called? Our friends right in our own backyard, Portland Fire and Rescue Bureau, from Braun Northwest, we have a new platform that's just going into service as soon as this trade show ends. It's put together with a very impressive lighting system that us here at SirenNet got to help them configure. On the front fenders, 700 series lights blasting away. Up in the front grill, surface mount ions with a chrome flange. Liberty 2 light bar flashing away in red and blue on the roof, and above that, an array of 900 series scene lights. Moving around to the sides, 900 series in red and blue with a wonderful surface mount dual panel Pioneer. Just impressive as the front and the sides is the rear of our new Portland Fire and Rescue Service vehicle. 900 series light heads make their home on the back for a big effective warning footprint. 700 series lights in amber and gradient 700 series LED scene lights alike. And moving down below, 600 series light heads from Whelan. Brake functionality, turn signal functionality, and backup lights of course. Horton Emergency Vehicles proudly on display here at the Northwest Fire and Rescue Expo. And this is a platform that I can only say I am over the top impressed with. You name it, this truck has it. 
When it comes to lighting, as you can see, every single thing on this truck has an effective flashing output and illumination function. So whether it is the Whelan 900 series lights, or it is the custom lighting grafted down here into the diamond plate edges, or making its way up to the side door here, red and amber, and if you notice, it is a custom carbon fiber door panel. Well, you never know who you're gonna run into. So for those of you who have joined us for previous episodes of SirenNet Television, you are gonna remember our good friend Bob here. And one of the great things about his rig that's on display is the new Horton i4G. So a few minutes ago, what we were talking about. Uh, we were talking about how uh, Horton leads the ambulance market in the innovation of electrical systems. Um, this is the latest version. Horton's been multiplexing for in excess of 20 years develop their own system and this is just the latest version of it. One of the features of the Connect system is that we're able to control the lights remotely um, through the cell phone and this is a Horton i4G app that's available to any user that buys the Horton Connect system and by simply touching the button on the app you can light up the truck to engine was running you'd have the heat and cool function for the module where you could turn the air conditioning or heat on and adjust the temperature um, the home screen takes you to a position where you can actually lock the doors and unlock the doors remotely regardless of where the rig is awesome so that's part and parcel of the system well thank you We have here our friends from Federal Signal, wonderful products on display at the Portland Fire and Rescue Expo. And Pat here is gonna go ahead and give us a bit of a rundown of what they have with them today. So this is our Navigator light bar. This is fully custom configurable. It's available anywhere from 10 inches all the way up to 87 inches. It also has our quadra flares in it, which can be multicolored. Also in the serial port version, you can also have multiple flash patterns. You can have full flood feature to the front, signal master to the rear, and change colors on the fly. And then these are our perimeter lights. This is our Impact 6. This is available up to three different colors. This one's actually a single red, but you can do red, white, blue, any color combination that you want. You can add in amber, you can add in green also. This is our Impact 3, which is a single color available in only single color LEDs. This is our MicroPulse wide angle, also only available in single colors, white, red, blue, green, and amber. That throws off 180 degrees of light. You can see on both sides I'm getting light. Great for an intersection light. MPS 1200 is available in multiple colors in any color combination. Syncable, programmable, flash pattern can be the up and down pattern that you see, left to right, or in an X pattern. This is the MPS 600, this is a split color. Again, any color combination. Syncable, programmable, multiple flash patterns. You can have it flash like this, or you can have it in a solid flash pattern. MPS 300s, these are only available in single colors. Again, all the colors are available, syncable and programmable. So this is our our insert with a bezel, these can be surface mounted or mounted into a headlight assembly. These are available in single and dual color. And these are our headlight taillight inserts. These are available in multiple colors, sold in pairs. And all of the MicroPulse Ultra line you can, are available with chrome, black, or white bezels. Well, thank you, Pat, for giving us a look at all the wonderful lighting you have here on display. All right, thanks for stopping by. Well, I couldn't resist stopping by to give you folks a quick look at the end of an aerial that we have here. It's probably one of the most accessorized buckets that I have ever seen. Dual nozzles, a wonderful big functional safe cage, warning lights on the front, warning lights on the side, scene lights everywhere, and one of my favorites is the use of our SN SL1 two degree spotlights.
after a cruise through the apparatus, this is one that has become my favorite when it comes to the addition of lighting equipment. So whether it is warning or scene lighting, the back of this rig has it taken care of. As you can see, we have two different Pioneer systems when it comes to the addition of a pole mounted system. This gives the ability to take the tripod, spin them around, raise them up as needed. Up above the hose reel, we have a traffic advisor from Wheel and Engineering and ties in with the Pioneer Plus surface mount scene lights, the M9 V series, and rounding down to the array of the M6s for brake, turn, backup, and warning light. Taking care of step lighting, we have a look at the perimeter enhancement angle lights, which takes care of lighting up the rear bumper and the ground behind the rig alike. Well, we found our friends from Wheel and Engineering here at the Northwest Fire and Rescue Expo, and I am joined by Garrett. So he is going to give us a look at the Wheel and Booth and what they have on display this year. Hey guys, so yeah, we got a lot of the new products here this year. Uh, First and foremost would be some of the new light bar technology. We've got the new Freedom 4, which shows the uh, the new lens technologies as well as the updated optics with the new Freedom. Uh, in this particular bar, we've got a different setup showing uh, takedown options as well as the colored filters that are available in that product line. Uh, next to that, in the middle, we've got the 4500 series that's got the Rota beams installed in that. And then right next to that is the uh, Rota beam and the Freedom options. Uh, we've also got a lot of the new Pioneer technology, which has got the Pioneer Slimlines, the Micro Pioneers, uh, as well as the Surface Mount Pioneers in both the single and the dual panel, and the brand new single panel PFS1, which is the spot plug combination light. So make sure to keep an eye out because that will be joining the Siren Net product catalog very shortly. Oh. Uh, next to this, we've got the full lineup of the smaller Continuum products, both in the surface mounts and the bail products. And those are from the Wheel and Motorsports division, Correct. right? So rather than being designed like the Pioneer scene lighting is and having the appropriate compliances for DOT and NFPA, the Motorsports division is geared for off-road. Correct, yes. Just like a kid in a candy store, I couldn't resist coming over and flipping switches myself for a look at the new Continuum lights from Whelan. This happens to be the surface mount version, and they're available in dual row, single row, and also in an amber output. Next to them on the right hand side happens to be the bale bracket mount version, again available in dual row and single row configurations. Taking a bit of a closer look at two of Whelan Engineering's latest and greatest light bar platforms, on the bottom we have a look at the Liberty 2 Duo light bar. Through the flip of the slide switch on the CC SRN3 Syncom, we can go ahead and take advantage of different colors and different programmed functionality. So as you can see, taking advantage of the Syncom and the programmability of the Duo Liberty 2, you can do a lot when it comes to the flash pattern and color configuration. Up atop the Liberty 2 Duo is the ultra low profile Legacy light bar, which is available in a solo or a duo color spec like we happen to have here. It's tied in through the Syncom CC SRN3, and with the slip of the slide switch, we can go ahead, make adjustments to the colors, and again, the flash pattern modes. So there you have it, a bit of a look at the two wonderful duo light bars that are the latest and greatest from Wheelan Engineering. Well, if there was anything that I could take home with me from the trade show, this would be it. It's a tanker that's been put together for the folks up at Pasco Fire Department in the great state of Washington. And this rig here has been assembled by a group called Ranco Tanks, also in Washington. So what we have here is a tanker truck that is designed for any situation, whether it is on or off-road. Well, there you have it, a look at the 2016 Northwest Fire and Rescue Expo. I know I've had a wonderful time taking a look around this great show. I hope you have as well. I'm Chris. Thanks for joining us here on SirenNet Television. Back to you, Stuart. 
Well, there you have it. Chris over at the Northwest Fire and Rescue Exposition in Portland, Oregon. Hopefully you enjoyed the footage of all the different apparatus. Big shout out to Bob Lemieux. Thanks, Bob, a million for showing us those beautiful ambulances that you have available for sale. I'm Stuart. You've been watching Sonnet TV. Thanks for watching.